Hey guys, this is Full Gaming Instincts here, and today I'll be continuing on with this tutorial series on how to create a first person shooter game in Unity. Now, if you're new to my series, I highly recommend that you view my previous tutorials and then come to this one in order to uh, get the links for the packages. They're usually in the description below, so you can just download the package in order for yourself to be in line having the scenes and some other assets that we have here in our game. Now, this is going to be a pretty sh short tutorial I'm going to be making here. I'll be teaching you guys how to spawn enemies in Unity using a JavaScript. Now, I'll just delete this. Now, what you're going to want to do, uh, go to the link in the description below, download the script. And what you're going to want to do is import it to your project. I did that already. And you can might as well uh, create a folder, keep stuff a bit organized. Anyways, after that, what you're going to want to do is create an empty game object. Right click, create empty, rename this to Spawner. Some good stuff. Now, what you're going to want to do is drag the Spawner new script that I'll give you guys to the Spawner. Now, I'll explain this pretty quickly. The Spawn side, the Spawn side basically deals with the amount of spawn points that you want in your scene now say for example you have 500 enemies and you want um, these enemies to be spawned in 100 different locations you'll just put 100 here but tutorial purposes I'll just put 2 good stuff now the enemy prefab this basically means whatever enemy prefab you have that you want to be spawned in your scene so yeah, that's pretty much it. The amount of enemies that speaks for itself basically deals with how much enemy in total you want to be spawned in your seed. So as I was telling you guys just now, if you want 500 enemies to be spawned in your seed from one to different location, you just put 500 here, but I'll just put two. The yield time minimum, this basically means the minimum time it will take for the enemy to spawn, and the max time will anything within the minimum to the max time it will take for the enemy to be spawned. Now, I think I think I explained pretty much everything there. What you're going to want to do is create another empty game object and we're going to rename this as Spawn1. And so we'll just go ahead and duplicate this, right click, duplicate and just rename this to Spawn2. Then we'll just see like the spawner will just drag the spawn one here and the spawn two into the next location. And what you're gonna want to do is put one and you're gonna just drag the soldier new from the previous tutorials and you just put it here. So good stuff. Now if you hit play, you should actually see that the enemy is popping up. Well they're being spawned in the game it's that simple now if you have any problems do comment below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible with a solution to your problems as well as oh I made a mistake here this is very important just a second I made a mistake, the spawn points, basically the y, the y axis needs to be positioned above the terrain, because if we have it anywhere beneath uh, zero, which is going to be negative zero, whatever, it's going to actually spawn the enemy inside of the terrain, so we don't want that, we want the enemy to be spawned on the terrain, so we'll just position this position this is 0 0.2 the y axis you could just select the one in CTRL and click on the next one to highlight whatever yeah so if you hit play now everything else should be just fine the enemy should spawn and That's basically it, I suppose. Yeah, 
any minute it should load up and the you'll see that the script is taking effect spawning the enemies from two spawn points in your game I just have it close to the player so that you can actually see you know the enemy coming towards the player as you can see there one enemy has just been spawned into the game and the other enemy has come up within the next two seconds so yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial on how to spawn enemies in unity using a javascript i uh, hope you've learned something from this tutorial if you like it you can just give me a thumbs up do remember to subscribe to my channel so that you'll keep yourself up to date with my tutorial series on how to create a first person shooter game in unity so yeah that's pretty much it any problems comment below and I'll deal with them. So that's it. See you guys next time.